Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create viral 3D reels in the iconic Houston called Style. You have probably seen tons of these videos and maybe struggled with complex tutorials, but don't worry. This is the easiest, most beginner friendly guide out there. I'll walk you through creating the exact animation you can see on screen right now, taken directly from one of Houston Colts videos. By the end of this video you will be ready to start making your own stunning videos in this unique style. Let's dive in. Okay, so guys, first thing after creating a new composition we with TikTok resolution and maybe let's say 10 seconds duration will be design our animation. First we are going to design that, then we are going to animate everything what we already designed and at the end we are going to do like final touches when we will add effects like deep glow, like film damage and everything. Let's start from design. First we are going to make our like floor this uh, strokes that uh, you can see on animation so let's make probably it should be long like that this amount of show white okay now let's center that go to Algin and this one and this one and right now let's copy this go to position and here let's write plus 250 copy again go to position plus 200 okay and right now let's go to our centered shape let's copy that and do the same but reversed by writing minus 150 copy that again minus 150 okay so yeah it's basically done right now let's select all shapes and link them to the null i have motion tools too so it's easier for me if you don't have just go to new null and just link like that let's make everything 3d null also and let's go to rotation let's go to x rotation and put here this minus 90 then let's go here and just adjust that looks fine okay like now it looks it looks perfect now let's put uh, to our composition Iman and I wasn't able to find exact same photo like in this called animation so I simply found uh, some Iman Gazi photo when he is in pretty good position and I just used background remover this one is best uh, in my opinion and I just deleted background from this photo and I got something like that so let's put it to After Effects it's here now now make it pretty okay perfect and let's put it in a good place so it should stand on the on the floor of course okay maybe make it a little bigger okay something like that so Iman is on the right place right now let's add texts and here we are going to have two really simple texts first text is just Iman God and font which I used here was grand I think yeah this one let's make of course this layer as 3d layer and put that behind Iman make it a little bigger maybe something like that now let's create other text I used Provisiali I think Provisiali font and here HD text and right now uh, to make like uh, only outlines you have to right click on your mouse then uh, go to create create shapes from text right now you can delete that mm, and here let's go to shape settings and now we can click on fill options known and here go to strong and just make stroke Okay, now we are going to make it bigger, something like that. Of course, make this 3D layer and put that behind Imagazi. It was a little bigger, something like that. Okay, now we have to add the last object on that composition. It will be like screen from YouTube of some of Imangazi video. So you can just add here any video. I randomly choose that one. So make it 3D layer and we are going to put somewhere like there. So yeah, it should be a little above our floor, somewhere there. So yeah, I adjusted position, now go to rotation and adjust here this rotation, 22, something like that. A little bigger, yeah, it should be something like this. Okay, so as you can see, we are done with our design. Now we have to animate our design. So to be honest, we just have 
two really really simple camera movements in uh, this animation so yeah let's go to new new camera and add null to this camera okay and now let's make our movement so make key first keyframe second after like two seconds go to first keyframe and just go down okay something like that and right now i will a little cheat here because i want to make this really simple so i will make nothing weird but it will work you will see uh, i will make graph like that and i will move null to the left like this okay and now it will be really really, really smooth okay it's perfect now let's make second movement so link another null to this null so if you don't have this motion tool you will simply have to make new null make it 3d and just link first null to the second null okay and now let's make another second movement okay this movement will have like two seconds as well so we, we will be sure that it will be clean and all okay something like this and let's make this type of graph again let's check how it looks it should be a little shorter i think you, you you know you have to play with that adjust everything like your graph never will be perfect at first time okay okay we got that i think okay it, it's good it's good and now we have also rotation so we'll use this this rotation Let's go here, like minus two and a half, I think. Okay, okay, it's perfect right now. And just we have to adjust something here. I think that we just have to go a little higher, even higher. And now let's adjust text higher position. Okay, and of course, let's make graph for this rotation. So simply just go here and check when we have like this uh, this this point of of graph and our second graph have to be as similar to first as possible like this rotation graph have to be as similar to position graph as possible so it will looks clean it will looks like that here here like that it's too sharp a little okay I think that's good. Now let's go to the final touches. You have to change colors of everything. First, let's change colors of our shape layers. I will go with something like this. Apply that for all shape layers. We are also going to change opacity of shape layers to T. Something like that. Now let's change color of that text to this simple red and also color of that outline simple red as well here but here we are going to change opacity to, to 35 i think okay 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 yeah that's good now we have to change picture too because it's it's too light so let's change this so yeah we are going to add to this picture a few effects first will be that because we are going to do like roughen edges we have roughen edges right now as you can see we just have to change border to 5 edge sharpness 10 last thing fractal influence to 0 of course we don't want any fractals okay it's it's perfectly smooth edge right here now let's add tint effect let's put here black and here red okay like that and let's go to opacity and maybe 70 and now last effect a little specific effect but it will be perfect for that bleach bypass go with that above thing okay so it just adds more contrast to that okay so it should look like this and right now let's do something with our iman because as you can see our iman is just too bright so yeah let's change we will change that just by copying this pitch bypass effect from picture to this okay and now our iman looks perfect even we could add sharpen here something like this maybe okay so we got like this light here okay so we added our red colors 
to animation. So let's actually add our final touches, for our final effects, which will change this, you know, not the best look to something insanely good looking. Okay, we'll start from posterize time. It will just decrease our amount of frame rates for per second. I will go with 16. Now let's create another adjustment layer and add here deep glow and like 0.3. Okay, perfect. Now let's add something very, very important. CC Vignet, this one, and put here 180. Okay, perfect. Now let's add film damage here from Shafir. Okay, we are not going to change here anything. It just gives us like this noise effect. Okay, and now let's add our last but not least effect. Actually, it's the most important effect. It will be chromatic aberration from uni. Let's put here, let's go to choose a preset, go to basic lens, apply preset. Now let's adjust something here, this to 0.5 and here to 50, okay, and now you can see that something is wrong here, but you just have to go to your deep glow and disable that, okay, now it looks perfectly. I think that our Iman is just a little too small and too bright, so let's go to our Iman here. And let's put here 1.4. Okay. Okay, perfect. And let's make our Iman a little bigger. Let's adjust his position. Let's check how it looks like. It looks perfect exactly how I want it. Okay, so I just realized that I almost forgot about strokes that you probably noticed on intro of my tutorial. From here on our second movement should be going like some strokes type thing. So yeah, let's make them and we will be done with animation. Let's make a stroke. This type of stroke, something like like that, good enough. Now make it 3D and minus 90 like there. And let's make that stroke a little smaller. That would be first thing. Then put that, let's see, right there. Copy that. Let's put that right there. Copy one more time. Let's put somewhere there. Perfect. Now let's add here Dream Path animation. So go here, go to Dream Path uh, and uh, on zero, let's make two keyframes for start. The first keyframe on amount zero and second on 100. And let's make very, very, very sharp graph. And this animation should be very short too. Let's Copy this stream path to other two blocks and put that in good place in timeline. Should appear like there. Perfect. Now let's add here some blur so it will look cleaner. Blur probably like on 10 should be enough. Put that above adjustment layers actually we have our animation done the last little thing would be light leak here because houston cold actually decided to add light leak at the start of animation to make it even smoother even cleaner of course i wasn't able to find exactly same light leak but i found something very very similar and let's let's just add that Okay, so I found on actual YouTube this video and I saw something similar to Stan called Light Leak here, right there. So now let's go here, let's go to mode and put that on screen. Now let's add here, of course, tint effect, black to red and also maybe brush. Brush effect on our light leak just gave us a little grain effect, uh, this type of stuff. Okay, so let's watch that. I hope that 
It looks great. Yeah, it looks very, very good. Of course, it's not one to one like my first recreate, but yeah, actually, it's it's almost same. Okay, so it's going to be end of this video. I hope that you like that. I hope that you will leave like and you will subscribe my channel. And I hope that I will see you in my other videos. Bye.